afford to go into that? I mean, is it Heck great? yeah, that's one of my favorite places to play. Um, there, God, they there. I don't know. Florida was my first time to go this year. That was a lot of fun too. The LSU's bar. You know I mean because it's for the boot, you know, and it's a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, that's what they I mean. So like, it's it's ever since you know, the last time I was there is when '07 when we beat them, and so that was like anyway, that was. That was a great experience, and I'm hoping we, we can still get this win. Anyways, anyway, they, they always – it's a lot of people. It's a 90-some thousand. And anyway, it's a, that's always fun. What does the noise level do to you guys making your checks? Uh, we had to go on silent counts a lot of times uh, where we just watch the ball, can't hear the quarterback. And when we do make checks, Mallet has got to – he's got to do – got to hustle up to the line early in the play clock. So if he has to check it, he, it ain't, he don't just call it out. He's got to run up down the line every, repeat it continuously because – we have a lot of calls, and a lot of calls can sound similar to others, so we have to make sure we, you know, we, we hear what he's saying. I usually turn up my stance and try to hear, read his lips and see what he's saying because, I mean, you think, it, you think you, you know, no matter what, you can hear me from me to you in that environment like that. You know, you can't hear anything. So, um, But we watch style accounts, and, and we won't do a lot of uh, verbal cadence and stuff like that. I figured that's much different playing there at night. I mean, that's kind of been the big myth about how hard it is to play at night down there. Yeah, because uh, yeah, they were because I remember watching the Florida game when they were down there. They were talking about hey, had them lost or whatever. That's the first time they had lost. Yeah, they're they're good at home, at night down there, but uh, I mean it's a challenge. And it's, that's why you play the game, and you know we got a good team, so uh, we you know we go down there and, and take care of business. We can get it done. Is that overtime ended in the dark? The yeah, so I mean that <laughs> technically. <laughs> Mitch, you didn't play in last year's game, but. They have a new defensive coordinator from what you've seen the year before. Can you talk about what they do differently on defense? Well, they just run a lot more stuff. Uh, before they were kind of basic, uh, didn't run a lot. Of, didn't run a lot of games. They basically they said hey, our front four are really good. We're going to beat you with our front four. And now they they're bringing all kinds of different stuff at you. Uh, they run on a bunch of different fronts, multiple fronts, kind of like South Carolina. So. Um, it's harder to game plan for, but I mean, we've seen them before. But you have to, you know, you have to have a memory of all those fronts because there's so many. You know, it's not just three different fronts you can see the whole game. It's anywhere from ten to fifteen different fronts at any time. You know, in a bunch of different places. A game like last week against Mississippi State, where they had trouble running the ball. I mean, you all look at it like a challenge, or do you think they just stack the box and yeah, you know, just the way it worked out? Oh, are you talking about us? Yeah, you about last. Oh, Miss. You, no, Mississippi State last week, where you come into this game, where you maybe you talking about us running yeah, the ball. Arkansas, oh, right, right, right. right. Um, I like to run the ball. I mean, I'm an offensive lineman, but uh, how many yards we have last game? Eight, Eighty-three. How many carries over total? I don't remember that. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> I don't like. I don't really like you bringing it up because it kind of reflects on me. But I want. I'd like to get over. Uh, have a, an individual player over 100 yards. You know, every game. So. Um, you know, we definitely got to get that up. Uh, a lot of times when you can't run the ball, you don't. And I didn't. You don't win the game. You know, uh, using the because you know, like I talked about before. You know, if you're up in the fourth quarter, you're going to run the ball to you know expire time. And just lucky we got Ryan Mallett and throw it around. So, um, but we, this week playing at their stadium, you're going to have to run the ball because when you make checks in the passing game, you're not going to be able to hear. It. We got to be able to call a play and run it and make yards to get first downs.